Hello, welcome to Respiratory HQ. I'm Tanya Peel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about cyanosis. If I ask you right now what cyanosis is, you're probably going to tell me it's the blue discoloration of the skin. And that's right. It is absolutely right. And typically it indicates tissue hypoxia. But cyanosis is a little bit more complicated, I guess, than that. So I want to talk about what it truly is, the true definition of cyanosis, but I want to explain it where you understand it so it's not as complicated. So cyanosis, if we define it, is greater than five grams percent of reduced hemoglobin. Okay, now you might be saying, well, Okay, I don't know what reduced hemoglobin is. Some uh, programs when they're teaching it call this deoxygenated hemoglobin. So to give you a really quick kind of idea, let's pretend that this is one hemoglobin molecule. And this hemoglobin has places that oxygen can attach, attach to. So I'll just do 10 places to make some math easy. Okay. So if this one hemoglobin molecule has a place for 10 oxygen molecules to attach to, but that 10th position doesn't have oxygen, that big X means nothing's on it. That's reduced hemoglobin. When there is nothing attached to a certain amount of hemoglobin. Oxygen's not attached to it. Car carbon monoxide is not attached to it. Methemoglobin isn't attached to it. It's just absolutely nothing's attached to it. All right, that's reduced hemoglobin. All right, that being said, let's apply this to this definition now. Right. Let's say we have a patient, and we're gonna call this a normal patient. By normal, I mean their hemoglobin is a normal value, 12 to 16 grams per deciliter. So this person has a normal hemoglobin value of 12. This is a vial of blood and there is a hundred milliliters of blood in this vial. So if I look in this vial, a lot of this blood is going to be oxygenated. All right. So this is the hemoglobin. These little red dots are the hemoglobin that's oxygenated, okay, fully, fully saturated with oxygen. But we all have just a little bit of hemoglobin that is reduced. It doesn't contain oxygen, okay, nothing's on it. So what greater than five grams percent of reduced hemoglobin means, it means that if I come to this 100 ml of blood and I pull off of all of those blue dots, all of the reduced hemoglobin, if I weigh it and it weighs greater than five grams, the patient will be blue. So yes, cyanosis is the blue discoloration of skin, but it is caused by there being greater than five grams of reduced hemoglobin in 100 mLs of blood. We say that greater than five grams percent. So if you can pull out all of the deoxygenated hemoglobin, weigh it, and it weighs greater than five grams, your patient will be blue. So I hope this simplifies this concept because we're going to carry it forward because people that are polycythemic will turn blue without being hypoxic and people that are anemic will be hypoxic without turning blue. So if you're interested to find out more about that, visit me on respiratoryhq.com. Have a great day.